can't even claim them. All right, so new packages from Brian's Mopar Parts up in Sharpsburg. And Pop's got some new toys. Continuing the dash video here. Welcome to Clark's Place. This one's brand new. A lot clearer. Um, yeah. I'll probably sell this one, but... This doesn't, it, like you said earlier, that doesn't really look too bad since you cleaned it up a little bit, but that... I haven't flame polished it, which, but I'm not going to... I'm going to worry about it. We'll put the new one on. Yeah, don't worry about flame polishing it. Let but else I've got to take and uh, melt these over. Yeah, I can't hardly even see that you have anything there. It's so clear and so nice. Yeah. Oh, it's got this, a little bit of dirt right there, or maybe a little piece of plastic on the inside. Yeah, oh, yep, plastic. Buzz. This lays here, and then you melt those over. Then, uh, yeah, that was just, they melt. The fly's attacking me now. Yeah. See him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't even eat an egg sandwich without him bothering me. Oh, I got him. Oh, good. Put him on your sandwich. Look at that. Skill. Yeah, put him on the sandwich. <laughs> got the uh, door locks. A little, uh... I'm gonna wash the flag guts off. Indicators. All right, cut to this. This is what, the trip reset? Or is it the clock adjust? Uh... Clock adjust looks like. There is a tiny little screw, which not all screwdrivers will fit down in there. Oh, it's a little straight, huh? A little straight, and that goes over the threads that stick out. You have to put the clock on first, or put the face on. Push that through onto the threaded thing. Yes. And then put that tiny little capture screw buddy that's not one that we can just go to the hardware store and get yeah how it's... much was that little screw no it that was all already had that oh okay i got one i'm gonna have to drill a hole see that one doesn't have the hole oh well, that's wonderful <laughs> yeah if that fits because this is too big to go through so you put it on and you put this on then that that tightens put a piece of tape over that so we don't lose yeah. that little buddy <laughs> true very cool so now we got to put a hole in our new lens that yeah. should be loads of fun all right so new lens does not have the speedometer that has to reset. That's the has to come off of an old one, but he included one with uh, with mine, so I won't use the old one. Goes on there, and then a little soldering iron. All you do is kind of melt the top, and let it push over. Maybe a little more. You can smell the plastic burning. There, I'll hold so I can see. I can't see what you're doing there. Careful. I know it. So it just goes over those tabs and you melt that down and... Yeah, you just kind of... Watch, watch your gun back here. I know it. So come in, come in at a steeper angle. Just kind of push, it melts, and you push it. Hang I see on. you kind of pushed it down onto the metal there. You're trying to melt that no. other area there, and you're this... really scaring me. I think it's fine. Stop touching it. Smell that burnt plastic smell. Mmm, good. <laughs> Oh, okay, we'll cut to us ruining this cool. when we... When we there, uh, it's on there. That's pretty awesome. So that's on there. <gasps> Upside down? No. 
Hey, you scared me. That's you all. I should have cleaned that lens on the back side before you put that on. Oh, it's there's nothing on it. <laughs> uh, cool, cool, cool. All okay, right. we'll keep the dust off of it. For yep. Now. And then we'll come back and film probably when we ruin the whole thing putting two holes in for the speedometer trip reset and the clock set. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Got to drill it. <laughs> all right. What are you doing there, Pop? Taping over these holes, making a mask for, not a mask to wear. No? But a, You're not going to the ball? No. This is going to be for uh, cutting, marking the hole, and then bringing it over to this one, and then having it to, to drill through. Good idea. Yeah, your, your idea. What? If it doesn't work, then it's your what? fault. What? <laughs> it's your fault. It doesn't work. Got you a fresh razor blade, and I would say just go around that outside edge. Yeah, that's like perfect. Looks and then good to me. We'll lay that, we'll peel that up and lay that onto this one with the hole. I think so. Um, I need to poke a hole in that. Well, at, at any time, yeah. I was thinking get the right size drill bit. Yeah, we will. Okay, there's the hole in the center. Yeah, all you need to do is put that and then we can um, maybe, I don't, I don't know the right way to drill that, super lightly and just let it peel through. I, I guess. I don't know, maybe I'm making too much of it. It's just putting a hole in plastic, but. I know, it's like, you could just lay it over the top and I was just going to say make a mark and drill it. But it might not be good enough. Is that your new one? Yeah, that's why I was being ginger with it. And not Marianne. If you need your 69 Dodge Charger fix, go watch Geek and Son. Because my QA1 suspension isn't coming until December, December 1st, is that what you said? That's what he said. It was scheduled to be shipped. Well, the mask that you make, you need to be able to put it in the same exact spot. I know. That's why. And a hairy edge isn't the best. It's not a hairy <laughs> edge anymore. Okay. I would say just put it along the outside. Don't cut into the plastic. Just cut, just cut like along the side of it and trim it off. Easier said than done. You're still cutting into the plastic, aren't you? No. Well, I don't see the blade going down alongside it. About the center. Yep, okay. Now we gotta see if this is gonna work. Well, just make sure you're taking your tape off and yeah. noting the right spots and That has a that has a little mold injection point in there and there. On the original? And this one has one there, but not here. I wouldn't go by that mark then. No, I, I can't. I mean, I'll go by this mark, which looks perfect. Yeah, it's not. It's like it's wider. Boy, it does, it does line up. I guess it's a little offset. You're appealing? Yeah. To our audience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Might fast forward and make this a little time lapse thing. Yeah. That uh, that went that went pretty well. I don't know about that pretty part. Holes line up. Pretty much. Yeah, there we go. So does that one. Look good? Looks good. Um, you could kind of test fit, make sure as you put it over the gauge over there to see that the speedo is, if 
it looks like it's coming right there. Yeah, that's going to come through there fine. Yeah, I'm pretty looks sure. Looks like the dots are good. Connected your dots. All right, now we need drilly bits. You want a new drill bit that size? Here, I got fresh ones right here. See? Oh, so do you. Uh, yours might I'm, be. I'm going to drill out the hole first. Then with a little because I've got yeah I've got these shock waves. There, there it is. It's just about the, the right, right size. size. So you're gonna do a little tiny hole first and yes. then let yeah. that go. Mm-hmm. Actually this is that one was cut and that one was factory. You can see kind of a dis yeah. color around it. I'm thinking this might even be the right size. Or not a disc color, but Kind of a morphing of the plastic. Yeah. It doesn't have to be that big, so that might be fine. Okay. You got the bit. You need a drill. Got you a drill. Give me a drill. Yeah, went right through, so. Trying to keep the same plane of like yeah going through perfectly straight is that the deal does it need to go through at an angle yeah once i get it down in there i'll angle it and see see how that works you leave the tape on pop oh that's right that's right you got a screw on it too yeah who put that on there <laughs> that's Let's scratch the hell out of it. Uh, <laughs> I want to put it over the hole exactly, so there we go. I see, okay. At this point, the hole's there, you just need protection. Yeah, I'm just trying... It's not like us to use protection, ever. I could put it across... Um, Maybe the back side, yes. too. I don't know if that'll do anything or not, but... Yeah. Might keep something from splintering. Yes. Oh, your video that we haven't posted yet, but the the solder repair. Oh yeah, yeah. It, I I got more work to be done on that. It yeah, it's not going to be done for a while, but until the parts come in. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking at it while you're soldering. It's just a picture of your hand in front of the camera like this yeah. the whole time. <laughs> oh well. I was the one that set up the camera for you too. It wasn't the best. Drill bit. So you're gonna come out and try to. Yeah, that looks like it comes straight forward. That comes straight forward. We're looking at this pin here and this pin here. So yeah, I would say drill like straight forward like that. Uh, you need to be more down. Oh, I I'm going to, but oh, I gotta you're get just going straight. Through I gotta it get first. through it first. Because it wants to, it'll slip on me. No slipping. Oh, I see. You're just kind of wallering it vertical or yes, however you say it. Oh, I smell plastic burning. All right, let's check it out. All right, we might have to trim it up with the razor blade. Yeah, I would be really careful. Oh yeah. I think that's, well, it actually is okay. I don't know if that's the right tool to use for it. Nope, I don't know either, but. Because that looks like hell now. Well, there's still, there's still a burr on top. I haven't gotten off there yet. Well, I can't go flat with it because I'll scratch it. Mm -hmm. There, there was one chunk came off. I see it came off, okay. There it goes. A lot better. Still has that white there. to it. Yeah, that's way better. Yeah, okay, I can live with that. Okay, good.
You were concerned if I could live with it or not, weren't you? I was. I was pretty concerned. I'm going to do this one with the tape on it first. Yeah, good idea. Huh. Well, who knows? I don't really see any back here. I guess could have drilled from behind and the, the face yeah, of it would I don't have been know. nicer. I don't, I don't know either. It may, be a, it may be a more dull drill bit, but that looks pretty good. Yeah, it does. But it still has that white white look to it. I know it. Could we stick something and melt that a little bit? <laughs> His lips get numb just thinking about it. <laughs> no. And here's where you ruin it. No. I'm not pushing I'm not pushing hard. I thought maybe trim a little of that white stuff out of there. We might have gotten it a little better. Not bad. Not bad. Nope. Okay, then... There's my little screwdriver. And my heel. See, that has a little pin. And that fits in that hole. Like that. Oh, I didn't see that, that over there. And this is a... No, nope, that needs to be wallowed out a little bit because... Too tight? It's too tight. Well, if you've got that one, make sure this is lining up. Well, I can't get it down. I can't push it all the way down. So... This needs to just be wallowed out just a little bit. Not much. I don't think a razor blade is the right way to do it. No. Probably a little hasp. Maybe a little file. Yeah, a little file. So why don't we I get guess, one? Hey, we I have got plenty. One. I got a little file. Yeah. Looks nice. Good. I like that. Yep. Let me do this one. Um, that is the right side. It needs to go to the left a little bit. If you can. Yeah, this way, light right. It needs to come to the left side. It looked like it was a little off, so, so file this edge there. Not bad looking. File is much better than a razor blade. Yeah, it's in it's my humble opinion. opinion. Did you know I have a humble opinion? Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, see, it went right over that time. Yeah, that's much better, much better, much better. And then those goes on the pins. See, there's little pins for it to go down. Oh, I see, yep, yep, yep. And then and that looks dead nuts center to get your buddy to go down on that. Who put all this tape on there? And that fits down over the top of that. And then this gets screwed. You just kind of kind of feel. And hopefully, there we go. You're locked on it. It goes so far and it, it stops. So that won't come off now. As you break the clock. Yeah. But can you adjust the clock? Yeah. Look at that. You can set the time. Uh, I can see that there's powder down in there, so I'm going to take it back off. Oh, uh, yeah. Clean. Yeah, clean, we have to clean it. But assemble. Now we know it fits. i got to put the screws in it. Very cool. So, we're set. Well, I didn't know we were going to make a two-hour long video about the stupid lens, but... Oh, yeah, I see all your powder dust from filing. Yeah. So, we'll right. clean it up. Get it installed. Yep wipe all these out too next video bye bye all right to all the viewers that watched our how to test ac voltage video did a whole video and i was wrong this plugs into the wall you can see plugged in and you're testing dc voltage this is a transformer and 
I think I got it in my head that it was plugged into the wall for AC, but we're testing pinball amps. There's all Dad's collection of old car bulbs. Um, you see he's got something from every year. But yeah, you touch both of those leads onto it and it's putting out DC voltage. I'm an idiot, so sorry I misled everyone. We're gonna test some bulbs to go in here, if you can find them. Before we button it all up, I think those are the ones that he's got here, so we'll test a couple. Did I say testicle? I may have. So to test these, do we just, you go one on the base? One in the center and one on the side. Okay, 12 volts. Mm -hmm. And, okay, so I've got it on the base, mm -hmm. putting it on the side. All right, we had a little snafu. This doesn't work when the extension cord is out of the wall, so. Hold on, let me get it touched here. Oh, turn it on. That one hey, worked. we got a light, but it works. That one it does. Oh, there it was. Let me hold it because I'm barely making oh. contact here. And we need to clean them up with a little file. Yeah, it'll work. I think that one needs to be cleaned. And it'll work fine. Well, this is, looks looks terrible. Yeah, but it's... It needs okay. to be cleaned. Okay, those three work. Dash bulbs work. Test them before you put them in. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. this is the side panel piece for the dash left hand left -hand. most side of the dash four holes but my car only has three wiper washer lights and panel dimmer which you get new decals for this oh i think that's convertible Vinyl. top probably yeah it's yeah, i think that you're right and i already put the new wood grain in there this is a back metal panel is that what the um I don't know if that's part switch, of the ground switch. or just to give it rigidity because the maybe rigidity for the switches to I, I don't know actually be because it looks like through they, tight on they still screw through this plastic on the plastic but anyway I mean maybe it's part of the ground but you bend the tines out to get it out this this because of moisture had a lot of corrosion on it I sandblasted and then painted them oh good and they just Kind of got a line. Oh, I see. They just kind of clip in. They just kind of clip in, and then you fold those over. Then you fold these over. That's right. That doesn't uh, look right. It's, it's gonna, oh, there's where it goes. It's got a recess in there. It goes up there. Oh, I see. And then there's screws there. So. And, and then, then your other panel continues to cover all that. The rest of that, yes. And it must be recessed that it goes down and yes. clocks around it's, those gauges. There it is right there. Oh yeah, I see. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's deep. It's deep. Yep. All right, we don't need to scratch up everything yet. Just, we'll only do it one time. All right, cool. These go on the plastic. I saw your RPMs kick there. Oh, did it kick? Yeah, it's raring to go, watch. Oh, I see. See? Bouncy, bouncy. Yeah, I guess what you said really rings true is, I don't know if those... we're trying to piece this together when you bought someone else's basket case, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, be sure to torque that lens down as much as you can. No, these are like metal cutting. Okay. At least I didn't bounce off and go... That would be something I would do. Yes, it is. Only because it's my luck. <laughs> what are you talking about? You got the best luck. Okay. Yeah, Until fine. Until the next project here. Yeah, you're what? I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, just, yeah, I, I find my luck. I, I find good cars to do, and 
in really nice things to restore. Yeah, looking pretty good there. Looks good. I love the wheels on it. All right. All right. So the next dash fixing wondering video. <laughs> Continuing some more dash stuff today, and what'd you do? You test fit all those little stanchions? Yeah, to from the old one. These new ones are a little bit harder to get them in there. Here we go. They go in and then you twist them, and they kind of lock in. You want a little? Uh, it's not lube. A little bit of lubrication on them. I don't know. That ain't coming out. Okay. It's so tight in there. Last one. There's a little tab and a wider tab. Oh, I see them, yeah. And the little one's here and the bigger one's there. But, like I say, they don't... They don't want to cooperate. Of course. Yeah, that side's... Well... Because they're too close to, oh, it looked like it started. There you go. There. And then it twists. And those, so that's locked those in. things are in. All right, let's see. I'm not sure what that one's for because there is a square one that came off of the old one. Does it just set in that? I don't know. The two little pinholes. Where was it out there? It's got a little rust. So you should be able to see. Yeah. So it was on the bottom somewhere. I'm guessing, yeah. Because this had set out side. It's not there. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know either. Is it a light for behind the ignition or something? Or I don't know. Oh, your ignition's on the column on the Challenger, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> so I don't know where it goes. I don't know you. So if you know, let me know. <laughs> I don't know though. What's what's the top plate look like? Does it have an idiot light? Well, there's your three across the top. You got brake, right and left. But there's nothing on that bottom part. And it would need a stanch. So maybe it doesn't have a stanchion on it. Or, I don't know, we might need to look in the book and see if they sell these in a kit that has a... All right, we'll look in the book. ...fourth one, so... Let's see what the square one is. All right. Okay.